Hi, my name is Adnan Hussain, and I've created some custom MetaHumans related tools and workflows. I've created a tool for making body control rigs in Maya that help you animate MetaHumans. And I've created another tool that allows you to export facial animation out of Unreal Engine and apply it to your character in Maya. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can export body and face animation for a metahuman in Maya and bring it into Unreal Engine. These particular steps do not require any custom tools. So, let's do it. I have my metahuman rig referenced into another Maya animation scene file. That's why you see these namespaces here. And Epic has already provided a body joints and facial controls object sets. So I'm going to click on the body joints and then right click and click on select set members. That's going to select this DHI body root skeleton. This is the skeleton that the body in here is skinned to. And this is also the skeleton that we need to export animation for Unreal Engine. Right now you can see there's no keys on here and that's fine. This skeleton is actually being driven by the root drive skeleton. And in the case of my body control setup, there's an additional skeleton called group motion. That's where the keyframes are, like on the controls, on the root drive skeleton, depending on how you're working with your uh, metahumans. So that's why there are no uh, keyframes on here. We don't need to bake it beforehand. We're going to go to File, Export Selection, choose FBX Export. And in the options, I'm going to go ahead and start with the Autodesk Media and Entertainment preset. And from here, I'm going to click on Animation, make sure that's checked. Then I'm going to select Baked Animation. I'm going to make sure that it has the right frame range. And then scroll down and where it says Connections, uncheck Input Connections. Select your name, Export. It'll take a moment to write out an FBX file. All right, that's all done. Let's do the same for the face. I'm going to select the facial controls object set. Right click, select set members, and we'll do a file, export selection, FBX export, and same settings. And then I just want to take a moment to kind of show you how to check those FBX files. If you run into any problems and your animation is not working in Unreal Engine, it's important to know how to debug things. Make sure that what you've exported is correct. So in a fresh Maya, I'm going to import the body animation FBX that I just wrote out. It might be hidden because by default it's hidden. So I'm going to display it. And the only things that you should see in here are this DHI body skeleton with keyframes on it. And now that we've checked that, let's import the face animation. And the only thing you should see in here is the facial controls with animation on them. So let's just scrub through and we can see that all these little um, controls are moving. So these look correct and there's no extra like geometry or things in the scene. So the next step is to go to Unreal Engine. I created a little test level and sequence to work with. Next, I'm going to go and grab the blueprint for my character. 
my character's blueprint is BP underscore and the character's name. So you just grab yours, drag it into your level. You should see it here in the world outliner. You can zero out the transforms by clicking on this yellow arrow. And next I'm going to go to my sequence, load that, and then go to the first frame of my sequence, drag the blueprint from the world outliner, and bring it into your sequencer. I'm going to delete this metahuman control rig. So select that, hit the delete button, and then select your body, click on track, we're going to add an animation track. And actually, before I do that, I should import my animation. So I'm going to go back to this folder, right click, import asset, grab the body animation FBX. And for the skeleton, for all metahumans, you're going to use this metahuman base scale skeleton. Just import. double click on the animation that just imported and we want to retarget source we want to populate this with the skeletal mesh the body mesh basically and there are several different body meshes used by metahumans so we have to figure out which one our current character is using and put that in here so let's go back to the blueprint a quick way to get back to your blueprint for this character is to select it in your level, right click and go to browse to asset. Here we go. Let's double click on it, open it up and select the body under components and scroll down and look at which body is being used in skeletal mesh. So in this case, this body is M tal OVW body. So just look at which body is being used by your character and then assign that body in your animation object under retarget source. So it's very important to use the correct body, otherwise your animation will not be applied properly. Click save. You can minimize this. Now I'm going to go back to my sequence, which I have in this tab here. And now I can drag my blueprint over from the level and I've already removed the body control rig. Now I'll click on track next to body, animation, choose the body animation and now you can see the animation is there for the body. I'm going to go to the first frame again and now let's add the face animation. Select face control board control rig, right click, import control rig FBX, select the face animation, hit open. And because my Maya file has a namespace, I need to copy this namespace, including the colon and put that in this search field. So we put the namespace in find and we'll replace it with nothing. That way Unreal will be able to recognize the names of these control objects for the face and control mapping presets we're going to select metahuman control mappings. Click on import and that's it. That's how you get your animation in there. And if you need additional custom tools related to the body control rig in Maya or exporting and applying facial animation to your metahuman, you can check out the link in the description for some of my custom tools. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments. And I hope this helps. Thank you. Bye.